Hello, Class 7M from the Christian uh, Morgenstern School in Hersching, Germany. You had a lot of questions for me, so I have asked my colleague uh, Bob Tursk, uh, astronaut from the Canadian Space Agency, to ask these questions on your behalf. Go ahead, Bob. Uh, Frank, Jerome is asking, how do you feel in orbit after several months? Well, as you can see, Jerome, I'm feeling just great. Floating in orbit is just nice. You can very nicely stay always in equilibrium after a couple of months. In the beginning you're kind of going like all over the place and now it just seems so relaxing. So life is great here. The food is good, the company is good, I have a fantastic crew and also the work is great. We do a lot of scientific work, also a lot of maintenance, so I'm having a good time here on orbit. Uh, Karina wants to know how much time does the crew spend working outside the space station? Well, Karina, actually the crew spends little time working outside the space station because it's very dangerous. If you go outside as well, you need to have one of those, a spacesuit. And it's very difficult to maintain the spacesuits. It takes a lot of work, but it's also very hard to work inside of them. So therefore, we try to spend a lot, as least time as possible outside of the space station. This is why we use a lot of robotics tasks, for example. It's what I did with the HTV and the experiments that we uh, placed outside of the Japanese module uh, Kibo. We only used robotics means to do that and that worked just fine. Tamara has two questions. Do you have any real free time in the ISS and how can you spend this time? And how often do you contact your family? Yes, we have real time, uh, free time uh, on board of the ISS. It would be impossible to work for 180 days uh, in a row. Yesterday, for example, was a real relaxing day for us because we just spent 10 days working very hard when we had uh, the new crew arriving, uh, Jeff Williams and uh, Maxim Surayev and the old crew uh, leaving. Most of my free time I spent calling my wife Lena because uh, she's the one who I most miss the most and the only thing I really miss up here together with my kids, my family and my friends. All the rest you get used to. So we spend a lot of time on the phone and this is how we can call on the phone to each other. We have a program on our computer and through this headset and the microphone we can spend time together. Antoine also has uh, two questions. He asks, have you ever felt scared in orbit and has there ever been a moment that you wish to be back on Earth? No, I've never been scared on orbit. I think astronauts know very well that spaceflight is still dangerous but they are very motivated and very well trained. They know their spaceships very well and because of this training and because of their knowledge, they don't feel scared. Scared people feel scared when they know that they are in front of the unknown, when they don't know what's going to happen. And we mostly do, at least we hope so. Uh, have there been times that uh, I wanted to be back home? Yes, again, six months away from the family is a long time. Like my colleague who's asking the questions, Bob used to say, the best thing of space flight is to be in space. But the worst thing of spaceflight is also to be in space because it means that you have to miss all your loved ones. So yes, from time to time, of course, we wish to be back home. And Regina asks, has anything strange happened on the ISS that none of your colleagues have been able to explain? No, we did not have this kind of uh, situations yet, fortunately. Of course, from time to time, we have uh, anomalies in some computers or some equipment but usually the ground is very good in uh, determining what the causes are, together with our help, of course. And so far as I know, all the situations that we had so far in the four months and a half stay that we had on orbit have all been solved uh, successfully. So the space station is in great shape, and so are we. Uh, the last question from Class 7M comes from Flavu, and he wants to know what kind of education and qualification do you need for this kind of work? Well, very good question, uh, Flau. The kind of education and qualification we need is, first of all, you need to have a good educational background like engineering, medicine or sci scientific uh, background. This is the kind of professions and uh, education that we need, skills that we need here on board of uh, the International Space Station. But more than that, astronauts also need to be able to work with their hand. Almost all the work we do here is manual work. As you see, some of these connectors here all this needs to be connected, this whole equipment. It did not fly like this. This was all 
built here like this uh, on the space station by, by astronauts. So we need to be able to work with our hands. And most of all, for a six-person crew in a long-duration spaceflight for six months, you need to be able to relate to people. You need to be able to work with people. Not only the people here on orbit, of course, because we are six in a very small environment and we all need to work together and live together for six months, but also with all the thousands of people on the ground that support us. We also need to think about them and be able to work with them. And this in an international environment. So that's very important for astronauts as well. So I think these were the questions uh, of the Class 7M. Thank you very much for watching the ESA YouTube channel. And uh, keep watching and uh, bye from now from the International Space Station.